In the last few minutes, we've confirmed with police the suspect who has been charged has been identified as 37 year old Merrick Squires. He lived right here at this apartment where you see the windows blown out by that fire that was initially started here yesterday afternoon and what they found after it was put out put this neighborhood on lockdown. The NYPD bomb squad and Joint Terrorism Task Force working overnight to secure a search warrant and comb through potential bomb making materials found inside a home at 2407 19th Street on the edge of Astoria Park. The chemicals uh, separately are what they are, but taken together, uh, they could assemble an explosive device. Hours earlier, the FDNY racing there to put out a small fire, and police found a man who lived there that they describe as emotionally disturbed. Exclusive video showing someone being let out of the downstairs apartment, his neighbors all evacuated. He's known to the department, uh, but the investigation is going to continue as to why he had these things, what specifically was the origin of the fire, and um, of course there's the, the other element here, which is uh, these things in combination, stored in close proximity or together, uh, that could have been an extraordinarily hazardous situation. The landlord told us some materials were found inside this black box, including chemicals, packages, books, and manuals, according to the NYPD. The FBI and bomb squad now trying to figure out what it all means. We would describe these materials as precursor materials, but nothing had been assembled. And I think just to answer your question directly, there was no completed improvised explosive device in the residence. Well, Merrick Squires has been charged with reckless endangerment at this point. The Joint Terrorism Task Force as well as the FBI are still looking into the circumstances surrounding what they did find. And police tell us more charges could ultimately be filed once he's released from the hospital. Reporting live in Astoria, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News.